What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? It's your girl Rita, and we are here for another video. Before we get started, if you are new here, welcome to the chaos. Welcome to the fun. Welcome to the creator that I am, Rita. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Just welcome. <laughs> I hope you'll see something on this video that'll make you want to click on other videos don't just click on those videos y'all subscribe to the channel i have over 5,000 subscribers but 90 percent of the people that watch my videos are non-subscribers so you guys i need you guys to be watching these videos liking these videos and keeping your girl relevant in the youtube world okay so um we're not gonna talk about a whole bunch of whole bunch of i need to get this sunday dinner ready and i want y'all to come along with me and i think you're gonna like this one i think you are today i'm gonna be making spicy sausage and shrimp cabbage i'm gonna make this as my main meal you guys so i'm gonna be hooking this cabbage up i'm gonna throw some cornbread with this thing and that's gonna be dinner for us okay there's a lot of ways that you can do this um recipe you can play with it but this is the way that i do it if you decide to use different sausage different meat whatever that's gonna be great for you and your family you know what y'all like this is how we like to do stuff over here so that's why i'm doing it this way so let's get started and the first thing i want to show you guys i'm using my cast iron dutch oven this thing is just delicious i just love it for all things so we're going to start out with some bacon okay because why everything tastes better with bacon in it okay i have about eight slices of bacon that i have cut up all right and all we want to do is get a brown on this bacon. I'm going to be using this grease, bacon grease, as my base to do the rest of uh, my cabbage and all of that. So we're not going to be draining off any of this bacon grease. My sissy poo makes something kind of like this. Um, I'm not sure if you use everything that I'm going to be using today. But um, that's where I got it from. And when I got it from her, I started looking it up and looking at it on YouTube and seeing the different variations. Y'all know that's what I do. I go to a lot of places and then I pick out what I like and the methods that I like and the ingredients that I like. And I combine them into a recipe that I think me and my family would like. Okay? I have a head and a half of um, cabbage because, like I said, I want us to be able to eat on this for a couple of days. I'm going to do a video on how I pimp out my, um, my package of uh, cornbread. I think y'all going to like that as well. I'm going to let this get brown. And then I'm gonna be right back. Hold on. Okay, so y'all see all that good old grease down and by now if you wanna use you some turkey biker, honey. Cause you on a lifestyle chain. I understand. But you're gonna have to put you some grease down in there. Preferably some bacon grease. So you might well just go on and <laughs> use you some bacon. And go on about your business. Now this is two packages. Egg links, I think, and this is some Cajun style and Dewey sausage. <laughs> now, you know, this already just going over your head, honey. Just sounding delicious, don't it? I know. <laughs> I'll be doing it, honey. I'll be doing it. Okay. I'm going to let these start to get a little brown on them. Now, I'm debating about something. Let these get some brownness on. I'm going to leave them alone for a second. I know they will cook up the rest of the way while I'm cooking my uh, my uh, cabbage and stuff like that. But I'm thinking about putting this can of fire-roasted uh, diced tomatoes in here. 
I'm just going to play it by ear, y'all. We're going to see what it's looking like after we get our cabbage. I wilt it down. And we're going to just see. Because I do want it to be kind of broppy a little bit. And when you put that cornbread in there, honey, <laughs> it's just going to soak up all that juice, okay? And it's just going to be good. So I'm probably going to do it. I'm probably going to do it. You can use any sausage, any link. I got about eight to nine pieces out of each link. So that's eight to nine times eight. Okay? That's how many of these slices I got. I ain't about to be doing no math. Kids ain't even in school. Why would I have to do some math? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay. Now, I want this to get some little color, a little caramelization on it before I put my uh, onions, bell peppers, and garlic, minced garlic in here. So I'm going to turn you on. I'm going to pause you a minute, get this to get some little color, and I'll be right back. I'm going to try to keep it short, y'all. I don't want y'all talking about me in the comments, although I don't give a uh, what y'all say about me. But, you know, I do love the ones that love me. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I want to allow my... Uh, sausage to get a little bit of color on it because although it's going to continue to cook, you know, it's not going to get no color on it once I start putting, once I put that, uh, that cabbage in here, it's going to be hard to get some color on it, okay, because that cabbage is going to need to be at the bottom. All right, so let's add some onions and some bell peppers. I have a small red and a small green and a medium onion, okay? I'm gonna start getting in my own acquainted with each other. Hey girl, my name is Anya. <laughs> Ooh, your sausage looks good, girl. Got a sausage on you. <laughs> okay, food, I don't know what they talking about. <laughs> Anywho, mix it in just like that, y'all. Just like so. I'm gonna put me about a heaping spoonful of minced garlic in here. Then I'm gonna start throwing my um, throwing my um, cabbage in here. I won't put that shrimp in there to last. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cook cook shrimp. Okay, uh, I shouldn't have to answer that no more. That's just what I do. Okay. I don't know who's throwing this pink shrimp up on their food and not putting no color on and not cooking it out just because it say cook. Boy, I ain't about to do this. Look how beautiful that look. Is you looking? I'm giving you. Wait a minute. Giving you the best. Come on through. I need to come through my vocal cords. <laughs> I be trying to. Give y'all the rest that I got. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Okay. Now, you guys, I'm going to start dropping my cabbage in here. Now, that's going to be a little time consuming. So I'm just going to show y'all what I'm going to be doing. And then I'm going to go out camera and I'm going to finish it out a little. So be dropping me some cut cabbage in here. I like my pieces big. I don't like them too uh, cut down. I like them to be kind of big pieces. Like I said, this is going to be a main dish for us. So, all right. So I'm going to start stirring these in here and letting them wilt down. You know that that's a process. And I have a lot of, oh child, I'm throwing stuff all around you. You better get in this paint because you're not, you're going to get eight. <laughs> um, so, y'all can see that that's a, y'all know that's a process. So, I'm going to stare in, wilt down, stare in, wilt down until I get all my, <laughs> until I get all of my cabbage in here and get everything cooked down. I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> if I don't burn myself up. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so since I have about half of my cabbage in here, I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. 
and garlic powder and onion powder. And then I'm going to put a top on here and let it cook down. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my next batch, okay? What I'm trying to do is just get this all cooked down, get it all seasoned, okay? Season the middle of it, of this uh, stack, and then I'll season the top of it, okay? Just like this. The only other season that I used, uh, seasoning that I used was, um, I used some Cajun seasoning. And I put it on my shrimp, I put it on my vegetables, and I put a little bit on my meat, even though that is some Andouille Cajun sausage. I just put it on there, I just put a little bit on there, because y'all know we like it a little hot and spicy. So now I'm going to break this down some, put a top on it, let it cook down, and then add the rest of my uh, cabbage. When it's all cooked down and I have it like I want it, I will show you guys before I throw my shrimp in, okay? Okay, y'all, I decided to go ahead on and sear off my shrimp in a separate skillet. And this is why, because my pot is getting super full. And I know you're just going to drop the shrimp down in there and let them cook and it don't take no time. But I just wanted a little color on my shrimp. So... Please feel free at this point when you're when you get your um, cabbage the way you want it and the cook on it that you like. Uh, go ahead on and drop your shrimp in there. I'm gonna be dropping mine in this skillet so I can get me some color on it. And then I'll put this in the finished pot. You know, once that pot is finished and I know I have everything cooked and looking like I want to, I just stir these shrimp in there. I won't cook them any further. You know, I will cut the fire off and just cook these shrimp. I should let that get a little bit hot. I would have got a better sear on here. But I just wanted to let y'all see that. I will be adding this shrimp when this pot is done, okay? Okay, you guys, so I have this almost just the way that I want it. You see all this liquid in here? And this is from me now. I didn't add any water. This is all from this cabbage cooking down, you guys. And that's how much cabbage I did have. Okay. So I am going, I did decide, I'm sorry, you guys, that I am going to add these, um, these fire roasted tomatoes. Hold on, though. I don't want that much liquid in there. Let me get some of this liquid out. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna put this can of fire roasted tomatoes in here. Garlic fire roasted tomatoes, diced. I'm gonna stir that up. Stir that in. Yeah, baby, baby, honey, child. I'm gonna go back through here with my Cajun seasoning once I put my shrimp in here. And we're gonna be done with this meal. This is going to, like I said, I'm going to eat this with some cornbread. And I'm going to do a video on how I retitize my Martha Stewart packaged cornbread. But for now, it's all about this beauty right here. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? Honey, they're all in attendance to that. Okay. Sit on down now, Stevie. All right. They all came to the house today for this one, honey. They wants to they just wants to get a taste. Just a little taste, honey. Of this one. Alright. This is it. This is it. Oh. That's 
see y'all. What do you think of this beauty? I will have a picture of the completed bowl. Have it all in his church clothes, honey. Have it sitting up there looking like, <laughs> yeah, I'm some cabbage with some sausage and some shrimp. What's your not? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. How that look? Yummy. Stop lying. It look good. You can give me that. <laughs> okay, y'all. I ain't going to keep y'all on here all day long. I just wanted to get on here and show y'all another great uh, one pot meal. You guys, this is so good. Uh, now, if you want to do this as a side, uh, you definitely can. But it is uh, definitely uh, substantial enough to stand on its own. This is my spicy sausage and shrimp cabbage. And that's it for this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up for this video. It helps me. And remember, your food ain't all the way live until it's been retitized. I will see you guys on the next one. I love you for watching. Thank you. Bye.